He says, For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knows no man, average man doesn't know the things of God, but the spirit of God. But you have the spirit of God, okay? Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. So we have the spirit of God which leads and guides us, isn't it right? And what does he guide us into? All truth. That we might know. Notice this. We have the spirit that we might know. What does that mean? He's going to bring us knowledge of what? Of all truth. That we might know the truth, the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. We mentioned this earlier. Neither can he know them. No. Notice this word no. What is no? No is having to do with knowledge, right? Because they are spiritually discerned. But, on the other hand, he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. For who, now get this, who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. What does that mean? That means that the mind of Christ is in us, and because he is in us, we have access. Now, in us is the mind of Christ. In the mind of Christ is the full treasure of all wisdom and knowledge. Is that right? Yes. So you have access to the full treasure of all wisdom and knowledge abiding in you. The problem is most people never access that, right? And now, how do you access that? Well, you acknowledge him in all your ways. You lean on him and not to your own understanding. Isn't that right? So these are the ways. Now, like I said before, this is one of the ways that you can start to tell people, uh, okay, well, as I've told you before, if you're missing something, used to, I would expect the Holy Spirit to give me a word or tell me where it was at or somehow, you know, something like that. And then I started deciding to access the mind of Christ that abides in me. And, I, and instead of asking where it's at, because he already knows, and because he knows and I have his mind, then I have the right to know. And because of that, I just get up and I'll just start walking. And sometimes I'll walk a direction. And then I'll just turn and go the other way and I'll go right to whatever it is I was missing. And I'll go right in and there it is. Why? What did I do? I was accessing the mind of Christ who knew where that was. So I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to pray. didn't have to fast. Right? I just believed that I have the mind of Christ. And then I decided to access that mind and actually use it. To, and because he knows everything, I can know that thing. I can know that thing right then, and I can know more because he's going to guide me into all truth. Now, 